Hey everyone, today I wanna to walk you through step-by-step -step how to create a business email in this G Suite tutorial video. A G Suite email is very similar to what you might be familiar with for your personal email with Gmail with a few small differences. So one, these plans aren't free. So the basic plan is $6 a month and you receive 30 gigabytes of storage per email. And if you upgrade to the business plan is what we're currently using because we upload a lot of videos to Google Drive and for unlimited storage, it's $12 a month. Another difference is you'll be creating an email at your domain as opposed to sending emails that end at, at gmail.com. If you still need to purchase a domain, we recommend that you buy your domain with Namecheap. It's one of the least expensive options, plus it includes free privacy protection, which can cost you an additional $10 a year on other domain websites. If you still need to purchase the domain, I'll link to Namecheap down below in the description. Also, we did a video comparing Namecheap to GoDaddy and other domain websites. I'll link to that video up above right here in case you want to check it out. Before we hop into the tutorial, I wanted to go through a couple of reasons why having a business email is so important. The first reason is it looks much more professional. You don't want to be sending work-related emails from jeffrey.thalen at Hotmail or jeffreysbusiness at gmail.com or jeffreyjthalen34 at yahoo.com. You should be sending it from your own domain. So you want to create an email, something like jeff at jeffreysbusiness.com or hello at jeffreysbusiness.com or info at jeffreysbusiness, et cetera. Another important reason why you want to have a professional email is so you can start doing email marketing. Honestly, email marketing is one of the most powerful tools that we use to help us grow our business and a lot of other business owners feel the same way. But unfortunately, you can't do email marketing from a Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo account. It needs to be a professional business email. So if you wanna sign up for ConvertKit, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, something like that, it's important to set up your business email first. If you wanna learn how to get started with email marketing, I'd encourage you to check out this video on email marketing for beginners. We've been using G Suite at the Figco for about three years now, and I've used it with previous businesses as well, and honestly, I've had zero complaints, issues with it ever. The one thing we did upgrade from the basic plan to the business plan over the last couple of months because we create so much YouTube content and record so many videos, and we upload everything to Google Drive, so with the 30 gigabytes of the basic plan, we were running out of space on basically all of our emails. So that's the main difference between those two plans, but honestly, You'll be happy if you end up using G Suite. For another business I was working at for about a year, we were using Outlook, and honestly, don't use Outlook. You'll be much happier with G Suite. Our channel is partly supported by affiliate commissions. So if you use any of the links down below in the description, we may receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. These commissions help us create content like this tutorial and other videos on our channel. One last thing before we get started, if you built your website with Squarespace, maybe this is true with other website builders as well, but you could get a free year of G Suite if you sign up through your Squarespace account. So if you log in and see if it's available to you, hey, it's a free year for free, maybe check for that before you go through and purchase it directly with G Suite. Also, if you don't have a website yet, we do have a free Squarespace course that walks you through step-by-step -step everything that you need to know. I'll link to that up above right here. Okay, so here we are at gsuite.google.com and click get started. So what we're gonna create now is an email for my personal brand, so for business name, let's just put Jeff Thalen. Just me, yep, I'm in the United States. Does your business have a domain? Yes, I have one I can use. What's the domain? JeffThalen.co, next. Okay, use this domain to set up your account. JeffThalen.co, yes, next. Okay, so what username? So obviously this could be contact or sales or jeff.thalen, let's just have it as Jeff, and then pick a password. I am not a robot. All right, I passed. Agree and continue. Review your payment plan, try G Suite free for 14 days. So G Suite business, flexible plan, $12 per user per month. I think in the free plan, maybe it's setting me up for the business and then I can downgrade to G Suite Basic. Once we get everything set up, I'll go onto the admin panel and show you how to change that back down to Basic. Click Next to continue. And then here's where you put in your card information. Okay, so G Suite account has been created. Continue to set up. 
Okay, welcome to the admin council, or yeah, council. Next. Okay, activate Gmail for this. Um, route your emails to Gmail. Five minutes, activate. Okay, so go to MX, okay, let's see. Go to your domain host website in a new tab, sign into that domain host. I've got that done and go to MX records. So if you go to Namecheap, it looks like this. And then if you click on manage for the domain and then click on advanced DNS. And then once you're here, if you scroll down, there's a section for mail settings. Right now it says no email service and then go to custom MX. Okay, and then let's go back to Google again. Okay, so go to your MX records, add MX records for Gmail. Okay, in the server, mail server value, enter this. So I'm gonna copy it. And then priority one. Okay, so there's a couple things. Name host alias is the at sign. Server is this, priority one. Okay, host at mail server this link priority one then save all change okay okay save I did that follow these same steps for all of the MX records below okay so I need to add one two three four more MX records so if I go back here Add new record, add new record, add new record. So I got one, two, three, four more, and they're all at, at, so I can just fill those in now. And then this, so there's two priority fives and two priority ten. So let's fill those in. So priority five, priority five, priority ten priority 10 right then go back here and then let's copy and paste basically it's the same thing with just the, the number change all one all two all three all four but we can just copy and paste to make sure we don't make any mistakes that one check number two check number three And the last one. And then check. Okay, so there's five MX records that are all for Google. That should be... Okay, get your verification code. Add MX verification record. So add another MX record just like you did above only this time okay so do it the same and put priority 15 and copy this so copy advance DNS add new record at this priority 15 check okay Activate Gmail. Okay, so you might see this a lot. Sometimes it may take a couple minutes, and so I'm just gonna wait three minutes, let's say, and then I'm gonna try this again. So at this point in the video, I was having an issue. G Suite would not find the MX records that I had clearly put in and put in correctly into Namecheap. Normally, this should only take a couple of minutes at max, maybe a half hour, but for some reason, it wasn't showing up on, on my account, and so, you know, I'd even contacted Namecheap and they said, hey, you did everything right, just wait a little bit. Um, it took longer than it, what it should have. A couple hours went by and it didn't work. And so I just went to bed, got up in the morning and tried one more time and it worked just fine. So the point is, if you have any issues, contact customer support from where you bought the domain, make sure everything's good. And if you follow the steps that I walk you through in this video, it should work just fine. Okay, so let's retry this.
All right. Domain verified, let's set up G Suite. Create new users. It's just gonna be me, so this would this essentially will let me add people to the team, but I don't need to do that today. So I would Gmail is activated, skip for now. Okay, Gmail is activated, create new users. Okay, so let's give it a try. Yeah, so go to just go to mail.google.com. And it is all set up. Okay, there we go. So I can start sending emails now from jeff at jeffthalen.co. So the one thing I wanted to show you, if you go back to, basically if you go back to admin.google. Okay, so what I was saying before, if you go into billing, okay, so you can see G Suite Business, and then what I would wanna do here is downgrade to G Suite Basic. And then it's gonna show you, here's all the differences. Downgrade to G Suite Basic. Continue. So I mean, either way, you'll still have the, the free trial, but this way, after the 14 days, you'll be on the, the basic plan to get started as opposed to business. All right, paid service starts in 13 days. Okay. And then if you go back to admin, if you ever want to add other people to your team, you click on users right here and then add a new user. And then here you go, you can add somebody new to your team. All right, that's it. Were you able to follow along? Is your G Suite email set up and ready to go? If you're having any issues whatsoever, I'd say the first step is Google it. Um, sometimes, you know, hearing from me is one way to explain it, but if you Google say, GoDaddy G Suite, you'll see an article like this one that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to set everything up that's maybe more personalized to where you bought your domain and other things such as that. Also, if you have any other issues, you can always leave a comment down below in the comment section and we'll do our best to point you in the right direction. Now that you have your business email all set up, if you wanna get started with email marketing, I encourage you to check out this video that I'll link to up above right here. Also, if you haven't yet built your website and you wanna learn how to do it with Squarespace, check out our free course right here. Until the next video, bye-bye.